Welcome back to the UCM Interface Bible Study Podcast, isang Bible Study Podcast by Pinoy's for Pinoy's, hosted by UCM Interface, ang Young Adults Community ng Union Church of Manila. Taglish, conversational, expository, slash inductive study method. Di kami experts, most of us are young professionals, but we do try our best to study context and let scripture speak for itself. Sa aming mga book studies and special topics, goal namin is to provide you with materials to help you live, work, speak, and serve as a follower of Jesus Christ. Thanks for joining us at kung trip nyo yung ginagawa namin please subscribe and share okay so people in your neighborhood hi I'm Phoebe I'm the digital media head of CBN Asia at ako naman si Rainier ang Young Adult Ministry Director dito sa Union Church of Manila and this is Gooch Voice Artist ngayon ang titirahin na natin ay Daniel chapter 8 I know Grabe, with no? oh. trembling <laughs> interesting about apocalyptic na genre it's such a difficult mahirap book, uh, kasi nga uh, ang daming common. symbolisms mm-hmm. nakakalito tuloy yeah. kung paano mo siya interpret yung ibang mga tao sumusuko na lang kasi yeah tsaka I guess if it's something that we don't understand we tend to skip it over mm-hmm. uh-huh. diba parang ay doon na lang ako sa mga madaling intindihan yung mga kwento-kwento oh, yeah. oh. and when was the last time you heard a sermon <laughs> preached on the book of them <laughs> well, I don't think ever <laughs> sa akin sa... siguro yung story oh. parts lang oh, oh, actually, not, not the, oh, oh, the apocalyptic oh. part Daniel sa... and the Lions Day. Mga ganun. Yeah, yeah. Although, mahirap. Mahirap talaga. <laughs> mahirap naman kasi talaga. It's understandable kasi ayaw mong magkamali sa tutuwa. Oh, oh. Right. Oh. At sa dami ng mga views na binibigay ng mga experts, mm. yeah. sino sa kanila ang tama? Right. Oh, oh, baka mamaya sabihin, para kang si Nostradamus. Oh. Okay. <laughs> o si Madam Auri. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya para sa aming listeners, again, hindi kami experts. Yeah. Mga geeks lang talaga kami. <laughs> mahilig na mahilig lang talaga kami mm. magbasa. And I think sa 2 Timothy 3.16, sabi, All scripture, all scripture mm-hmm. is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Mm-hmm. Even the parts na hindi natin naintindihan yeah. is beneficial for us. And I guess, ano, no? if God thought that it was important enough to be included in the Bible, then we better take the time to understand it. Yes. Right. Study it and uh-huh. understand uh-huh. it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Bago tayo dumiretso ng chapter 8, ano ba nangyari ng chapter 7? Oh, sa chapter 7, dito tayo sa atin unang pinakilala yung mga nakakatakot na beasts. Yeah, uh-huh. the four beasts. Uh-huh. Four beasts. Four beasts. Uh-huh. Yung first three beasts, at least meron pa silang mga matatawag nating zoological categories. Mm-hmm. Oh, Kaya pang ma-describe ni Daniel. Daniel. Kinocompare niya ito dun sa mga existing animals. Alam niya. Oh, yeah. Lion yeah. na may oh. wings. Pero yung uh, pang-apat, hirap siya. Weird, uh, na, weird description na description, eh. description niya. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Pero kahit nakakatakot yung mga beasts na yan, bigla na lang pumasok yung Ancient of Days right. at saka yung Son of Man mm-hmm. na parang biglang kumalma yung buong kwento kasi right. ay salamat. Uh-huh. Hindi pala to puro na lang nakakatakot ng mga uh-huh. visions but then there's this vision of God the Father and the Son of Man who we know is the Lord Jesus Christ. Diba? Kaya sa akin, ito yung napakagandang message ng Daniel 7 kasi magtatagumpay naman ng Diyos in the end. In the yes. midst of uh, all of the oh, beasts. Kahit no sino pa yung mga beasts are... na yan. In fact, sa palagay ko ngayon sa chapter 7, yung mga apat na beasts na yan, although that involves the immediate future for Daniel, patuloy pa rin yung pagdating ng napakaraming beasts mm. sa buong history natin. One At hanggang ngayon, ever. marami pa rin mga beasts beasts na ganyan. Kahit sa parte ng mundo, may mga gobyerno talaga na para mga beasts na describe dito sa Book of Daniel. And not just government, as in like, yeah, I was about powers. To say it. <laughs> diba? Earthly power against God. People could be gathering around ideologies that is against God. Not exactly governments. Diba? Sure. That could also be like a beast in itself. Yeah. But in the end, there is a happily ever after with um, Thank God. <laughs> son of, with oh. the Angel of Days there and the Son hope. of Man. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Kahit sino pa yung mga beasts and they represent kingdoms, powerful nations, superpowers. Wala silang lahat dun sa Son of Man. Right. And now, let's go over chapter 8. Two okay. years after. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> chapter 8. Oh. Pero before that, why don't we go through our reading? And Daniel 8. In the third year of the reign of King Belshazzar, a vision appeared to me, Daniel, after that which appeared to me at the first. And I saw in the vision, and when I saw, I was in Susa the citadel, which is in the province of Elam. And I saw in the vision, and I was at the Ulai Canal. I raised my eyes and saw, and behold, a ram standing on the bank of the canal. It had two horns, and both horns were high, but one was higher than the other, and the higher one came up last. I saw the ram charging westward and northward and southward. No beast could stand before him, and there was no one who could rescue from his power. 
he did as he pleased and became great. As I was considering, behold, a male goat came from the west across the face of the whole earth without touching the ground. And the goat had a conspicuous horn between his eyes. He came to the ram with the two horns, which I had seen standing on the bank of the canal. And he ran at him in his powerful wrath. I saw him come close to the ram, and he was enraged against him, and he struck the ram and broke his two horns. And the ram had no power to stand before him, but he cast him down to the ground and trampled on him. And there was no one who could rescue the ram from his power. Then the goat became exceedingly great, but when he was strong, the great horn was broken, and instead of it, there came up four conspicuous horns toward the four winds of heaven. Out of one of them came a little horn, which grew exceedingly great toward the south, toward the east, and toward the glorious land. It grew great even to the host of heaven, and some of the host and some of the stars it threw down to the ground and trampled on them. It became great, even as great as the prince of the host. And the regular burnt offering was taken away from him, and the place of his sanctuary was overthrown. And a host will be given over to it, together with a regular burnt offering because of transgression. And it will throw truth to the ground, and it will act and prosper. Then I heard a holy one speaking, and another holy one said to the one who spoke, for how long is the vision concerning the regular burnt offering, the transgression that makes desolate, and the giving over of the sanctuary and house to be trampled underfoot? And he said to me, For two thousand three hundred evenings and mornings, then the sanctuary shall be restored to its rightful state. When I, Daniel, had seen the vision, I sought to understand it. And behold, there stood before me one having the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of the Ulai, and it called, Gabriel, make this man understand the vision. So he came near where I stood, and when he came, I was frightened and fell on my face. But he said to me, Understand, O son of man, that the vision is for the time of the end. And when he had spoken to me, I fell into a deep sleep with my face to the ground. But he touched me and made me stand up. He said, Behold, I will make known to you what shall be at the latter end of the indignation, for it refers to the appointed time of the end. As for the ram that you saw with the two horns, these are the kings of Medea and Persia, and the goat is the king of Greece, and the great horn between his eyes is the first king. As for the horn that was broken, in place of which four others arose, four kingdoms shall arise from his nation, but not with his power. And at the latter end of their kingdom, when the transgressors have reached their limit, a king of bold face, one who understands riddles, shall arise. His power shall be great, but not by his own power. And he shall cause fearful destruction, and shall succeed in what he does, and destroy mighty men and the people who are the saints. By his cunning he shall make deceit prosper under his hand, and in his own mind he shall become great. Without warning, he shall destroy many, and he shall even rise up against the prince of princes, and he shall be broken, but by no human hand. The vision of the evenings and the mornings that has been told is true, but seal up the vision, for it refers to many days from now. And I, Daniel, was overcome and lay sick for some days. Then I arose and went about the king's business, but I was appalled by the vision and did not understand it. We have four parts ng discussion natin, one to eight, which is the start of the vision. And it's about the ram, and then there's a goat, mm -hmm. and then may horn, mm -hmm. tapos may four horns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tapos yung second part, we'll be sort of zooming in mm -hmm. dito sa goat na to. Kasi meron siyang little horn, mm -hmm. na very important yung detail. So two parts, one to eight, and then nine to fourteen. Ngayon, yung fifteen to twenty-two is the interpretation of one to eight. And then twenty-three to twenty-seven Interpretation is, naman ng... Little horn, right. nine to fourteen. So yun lang, so 
four parts. All right, game. Okay. So one to eight. Binigyan tayo ng chronological marker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is the third year of Rainy Belshazzar. So okay. Babylon parento. Babylon mm-hmm. paren. So nakita niyo parang biglang bumalik eh. mm-hmm. <laughs> Kasi nga hindi naman yung chronology yung necessarily o oh, uh-huh. yung mga themes. So hinati nga yung libro, nakita natin yung mga narratives na una pagdating ng seven, apocalyptic literature na siya. Now, third year ng reign. Pero dapat natin ulit tandaan, hindi si Belshazzar ang totoong hari, kundi si Nabonidus. Alam niyo kung 605 15 years old si Daniel at dumating siya ng Babylon noon. Pagdating ng third year ni Belshazzar... Uh, third year of Belshazzar, according to a commentary I had, is uh-oh. somewhere between 550 to 547. Kung tama lang naman, mga 67 years old. Okay. okay. So, matanda na Retired rin pala. Retired na. Tanda. Kung magkakayong pa na. Matanda na pala talaga si Daniel. Mm. No? Uh, I know we had a discussion about it. Somewhere saying like 80 years old or mm. 70 years old. And so, he had this vision. And then he was in the... Susa. At dito siya sa may tabi ng Ulay Canal. Chinek mo yung mapa eh. Saan kaya itong Ulay Canal na to? Is this a real place? Kasi mahaba siya eh. Parang nasakop din niya yung bandang Kazakhstan, Iran, Iraq. So mga medyo mahabang ilog o kanal. Hmm. Tama bang sabihin ilog yung kanal? Kasi pag sa Tagalog, oh, pag sinabi mong tayo. kanal, o oh, mapura eh. kayo. <laughs> <laughs> mabaho. Hindi yun yung kanal dun sa side oh, ng road. Oh, oh. <laughs> yung eh, kasi mga... sa atin, pag sa'yo, amoy kanal. Yung mga oh, kanal, yeah. ang baho. So oh. sabi niya dito, canals are waterways, channels, or artificial waterways. Okay. Or the service water transport. Parang it's a waterway. It's man-made. It's a man-made water. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Oh, yun. Tapos sa uh, verse 3, tumingin siya sa taas. At eto na. Eto na. May nakita na siya. Beast na naman. Na beast. Ang nakita niya ang beast, ay Ram. Ram Ram na meron two horns. dalawang horns so medyo Ay, normal makasing, naman di ba? hindi magkasing right. haba oh. yung one was longer than oh. the other hindi pantay pero yung longer na yon came up last but grew up later yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 okay later. sige so that's verse 3 tapos itong one. Ram ay napansin niya sumugod niya. sumusugod papuntang west north west, and south north and south parang sumusugod siya na sino ang mga sinusugod niya yeah. I guess nangikipag-war siya no? parang ganun ngayon lumalabas uh-huh. marami siyang inaaway na beast yeah. okay. yeah. tapos talaga. Ta- talo lahat na talo yun. lahat oh, walang, yeah. walang manalo sa kanya mm-hmm. ganun siyang kalakas na beast yeah. oh, he did as he pleased and became great at habang nakikita niya ito sa verse 5 tayo meron na namang sumulpot na isang male goat yun goat oh, syempre may sungay na oh. naman uh, with a prominent horn between its eyes galing oh. ng west oh, oh. galing west oh. yeah. came from the west tapos ano pang ginawa niya parang tinawid niya yung buong without touching the ground ang galing ano naglilevitate oh, oh, siguro, siguro sa bilis parang hindi oh, parang, na niya oh, na oh, ano, oh. natatouch yung ground oh, ang, ang bilis, bilis niya talaga hindi na siya lumalapat sa lupa uh, yeah. ganun siyang kabilis hmm. yeah It came toward the two-horned ram at charged, niya, it, oh, oh, charged oh, oh. at it in oh, oh. great rage. Galit, oh, powerful galit wrath. Siya. At hindi lang yun. Winasak niya yung horns. Okay, wala na tuloy horns yung isa. And then the ram had no power to stand wala before na, him. Wala na. Powerless oh, na yung ram. Yeah. ground and trampled. Gulpe. Oh, oh. At dahil dito, sa verse 8, lumakas na talaga yung goat. Oh, oh. Talagang Champion goat na. talaga, oh, no? Oh. Na-overthrow oh. na yung oh. ano. Ano nga ba yung goat oh. sa atin ngayon pag sinabi mong, wow, who's the goat? Oh, yeah. The greatest of all time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> verse 8 is interesting kasi when he was strong, the great horn was broken. So parang at the height, at the height of, of its of power. Teka, di ba siya yung may horn? Mm-hmm. Oh. Pero at the height of its power, it was broken off. And in its place, four prominent horns grew up. Napalitan siya. So from one, nabasag, naging oh. Oh, apat na palitan yeah. ng apat right ano ba yung sabihin nun ano pang oh. kakaiba oh. well may kita natin oh. <laughs> buti na lang dito may interpretation I know right mas oh. specific oh. hindi na rin kailang hula <laughs> yung chapter 7 eh ever. pero matago yun eh mm-hmm. uh, so 1 to 8 na tayo ngayon 9 oh. to 14 na tayo oh. part 2 so simula nung 9 out of one, of one the of them mm-hmm. so isa dun sa mga apat na horns may tumubong sa dati isa. maliit pa lang siya bigla lang siyang lumaki, lumaki. Oh. toward the south, east, and east, and, and glorious the beautiful, land. glorious land pala yung sayo. Yeah, glorious oh. land. ESV yung akin. Uh, ESV. Landing oh. sa akin mm. eh. Lumaki nung lumaki, itong horn na ito. Hanggang it reached the host of the heavens. Oh, hanggang langit. Some of the hosts and some of the stars, mm. it threw down and trampled, trampled on. on them. Oh. Brutal din. Brutal. Ito yung verse 11, ha? yung description. It, it set, set itself, itself up. up to be as great as, great as the commander of the army of the Lord. Medyo mayabang din. Mm. 
Mm. Okay? Ito na, meron pa siya mga ginamang activities. It took away the daily sacrifice from the Lord and His sanctuary was thrown down. Related May sa worship. Religious, oh, uh, religious aspect. Hindi oh, na lang siya sa political. Hindi na eh. Religious mm-hmm. slash spiritual. Kasi pati ang Diyos kinakalaban na talaga niya. Mm-hmm. Because of rebellion, the Lord's people and the daily sacrifice were given over to it. It prospered in everything it did ba? Inaway yung Diyos pero nag-prosper. It will throw out truth successfully. Parang kumbaga lies na yung kanyang pinangangalat, no? Kasi binasak yeah. niya yung truth, eh. Hmm. Nako, source ng fake news pala itong piece na to. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nagkakalat ng fake news. Hala, hala. Hmm. Verse 13, parang may biglang change ng eksena, di ba? Mm-hmm. Kasi merong sabi dito, a holy one na nagsalita and another holy one, parang dalawa na sila. Yeah. <laughs> Salita, narinig niya, sabi, how, how long will it take for the vision to be fulfilled? The vision concerning the daily sacrifice, the rebellion that causes desolation, the surrender of the sanctuary, and the trampling underfoot of the Lord's people. Kailan yung yung, yung mga, itong holy ones na ito ang nag-uusap sa sarili nila. Mm. Hindi naman kasali si Daniel dun eh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Diba? Uh-huh. Pero narinig lang niya na itong isang holy one na ito, tinanong yung isang holy one. Holy one. Yeah. Kung sino man sila. Ang sagot, for 2,300 evenings in mornings. Then the sanctuary shall be restored to its rightful state. Oh, mm-hmm. di ba? Walang kasing labo yung sagot. <laughs> <laughs> well, sila naman nag-uusap. Oh, ito. sila. <laughs> nakikinig lang si, uh, <laughs> lang si Daniel. Pakiulit, 2,000. Uh, uh, <laughs> Pero sabihin nun, di ba? Labo nights. naman ng mga sagot na to. That's 9 to 14. That's part 2. Now, we'll go to the the oh, interpretation. interpretation. Buti so, na lang. Yeah, 15 to 22. The interpretation of 1 to 8. Of the vision. Ram and go and everything. Right. Okay, game. Ito na. Ang sabi sa kanya, sa verse 16, may tumulong sa kanya eh. Someone who looked like a man. A man. At nasabi nung man na ito, or not a man, but someone who looked like a man. But I heard a man's voice from the ulay calling Gabriel, tell this man the meaning of the vision. Mm-hmm. Uy, buti na lang. May sumaklolo oh, para right. ibigay yung interpretation. <laughs> Kaka dyan lang kung walang interpretation. So, <laughs> All right. Ano? <laughs> oh. He came near where I stood and when he came, I was frightened, fell on my face. But he said to me, understand, O son of man, that the vision is for the time of the end. The time of the end. Pero yung pag-address sa kanya ay Son of man. Son of man. Siya ba yung nasa chapter 7 na son of man? No. Hindi eh, no? Mm. Ito literal na son of man. Oo. Mm. Ibig sabihin yung, yung son of man Oo. Maraming God. beses naman sa Bible ginamit yung title na son of man referring to men. Human beings. Mm. Yeah. Yung nature ng son of man is from humans. It's a man. But at the same time that son of man is different from the, the normal ordinary, son of man. The ordinary oh, oh. son uh, of man. Unique pa rin talaga yung description sa chapter 7. Sa so, so, chapter 7. Understand the vision concerns the time of the end. Isa na namang napaka-labong terminology. <laughs> yeah. oh, What does that mean? Marker for time. Uh, time ano yung sabihin nun? Uh-huh. 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 Pero yung time of the end, whenever people talk about the end, I think it's always, oh, the coming of Jesus, second coming lagi, di ba? Pero uh-huh. I don't think that's what's being discussed here. I Mukhang think the hindi. end here is yung current reigning kingdom. Probably. Uh-huh. And it's not about the coming of Jesus uh-huh. or anything. It's uh-huh. about their current power. Right, mm-hmm. right. Na, syempre, they're uh-huh. still under Babylon eh. Mm-hmm. Nakakatawa lang. Hindi ko alam kung nabore si Daniel kasi sa verse, <laughs> verse 18 <laughs> while he was speaking to me I was in a deep sleep. <laughs> sa pagkadismaya niya nakatulog siya. Pwede. Oh. Sobra siyang napagod. Eh, ito nga napapansin ko laging may physical reaction uh-uh. dun sa mga nakikita niya. Yeah. Although I've heard stories like that yung sobrang shock tapos biglang parang may hihintay magkakalap uh-huh. sa nabu. Uh-huh. Hindi na kayanan. It's the body's response to the over overwhelming emotion that the person is Totoo. Yeah. O oh, yung makakuha ng ma- masamang balita, like... May namatay or whatever. O, oh, yung oh, he- biglang he- si oh, uh, uh, yung patatawagan yung phone, tapos parang, are you are seated? Are you still there? Can you, si- I... can you sit down? Oh, yung gano'n. Can you sit down? Oh, buti nga, nakatulog lang tong si... <laughs> <laughs> Baka ko wala nang gisingan. Yun yung naging reaction. <laughs> okay. At least hindi natake sa puso or anything like that. Oh. Right? He fell into a deep, deep sleep, sleep with his face to the ground. Pero ginising siya. Pero ginising din siya. O, teka lang, makinig ka sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> tayo, tayo. Makinig ka. Uh, Wala kang choice. Kailangan ko itong ka. marinig. And he said, In verse 19, I'm going to tell you what will happen later in the time of wrath because the vision concerns the appointed time of the end. Yan na naman. Okay. At dito sa verse 20, sinabi na niya kung sino yung ram. Yes. Ayan na, ito na. <laughs> yung two-horned ram, yung isa mang tusungay niya ay mas malaki. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yung isa mas maliit. Hindi yes. pantay, di ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kaya pala, because kasi ang sabi, this represents the kings of media 
Emperor. Media and Persia. Which Alam we already talked about last time. Oh, kasi diba? yung may, may, may allegiance yan eh. Mm. The Medes mm. and the Persians. Yeah. Eh, yung Medes naman, it's a smaller... Yeah. They were incorporated into oh, Persia. Persia. Oh. But from what I read then, the Medes came before the Persians. Right. Pero the Persians mm. grew in strength faster. Oh, oh, mm. yeah. Kaya sabi, di ba, yung longer slash higher horn came Af- after. Tugma naman, kasi ganun nga yung history ng Medes and Persians. May yeah. alliance sila, but the Medes are weaker compared to the growing strength of the Persians. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sinabi rin dun sa description sa 1 to 8 na sobrang lakas niya. And then, uh, sa 21, yeah, ayan na, goat. si the goat in-identify siya as the king of the Greece. king of Greece. Wow. Uh, and the large horn between its eyes Yung is the first king. unang king. This is referring to Alexander yeah, so, the Great. Uh-oh. And I think from all the names here, I think mm-hmm. Alexander the Great is probably gonna be the most familiar, familiar one. Familiar, oh. <laughs> Ang kagandahan nito, buti na lang sinabi, in-identify. Mm-hmm. At nung panang ito, hindi pa naman malakas ang Greece eh. Oh, wow. At diba? the time that oh. Daniel wala pa. wrote this. Wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. Wala pa. Hindi sila kilala. Yeah. Kumbaga, hindi pa. Well, there was Greece. Pero <laughs> hindi siya superpower. Mm-hmm. Oh, kasi, if I get the dates right, this vision came to Daniel. Malamala, oh, 550. Oh, oh, oh. Itong events na to, yung Mangyayari. Greece, 330, uh-huh. 350. Summer there. Tagal pa. Eh. Tagal pa. So Malamang, after. hindi pa nga threat ang Greece noon. Mm. Yeah. Wala pang senyales na, ako, magiging superpower din to. Babylon nga eh, mm-hmm. na napakalaki eh, oh. na natapos talo ng Medes and Persians. Tandaan natin, this was the third year of the reign oh, of Belshazzar. Belshazzar. Mm. Na nung panahong yun, secure pa naman ang Babylon. There was no inkling that Ma- this would actually happen. Oh, oh. Although lumalakas na ang Persians and Medes, mm-hmm. Malakas pa rin ang loob ng Babylon ng panahon na yon. Sila pa rin ang superpower. I mean, even to the point na on chapter 5, uh-huh. nagpa-party pa right. nga in sila. Chapter yeah. five, Arrogant uh-oh. and confident. Yeah. And the Persians and Medes were right there on their gates. And, the and they were having a party. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pero, by God's grace, binigyan na agad ng wisdom si Daniel na ito ang mangyayari. Hindi magtatagal yung Babylon na yan. Mm-hmm. In fact, papalitan siya ng Medes and Persians. Mm-hmm. Pero alam mo, yung Medes and Persians na yan, hindi rin magtatagal yan. Papalitan pa rin yan. Greece naman. Mm-hmm. So, nagkaroon na ng advanced knowledge itong si Daniel sa well, future. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. So, saan na tayo? Um, 22. 22, 22 na. na tayo. So, again, we've established the great horn between his eyes is the first king. That's Alexander. Oh, oh, oh. Do you mean 22? The four horns that replaced the one that was broken off. So, yung great horn na to, as we read dun sa 1 to 8, in the height of its power, the great horn gets broken oh. and in its place, Four horns. Four horns. Okay. At yung four horns na yun, magiging apat na kingdoms. Yeah. Pero hindi kasing lakas. Humina mm. din siya. Greeks Parang, ito ha? Greeks oh, na yung pinag na natin. Oh. Para lang magbigay ako ng historical marker dyan. Nga. Kasi si Alexander, kasi ba galing sa west. The goat with the great horn comes from the west, which is the region ng Macedonia and Greece. Oh, oh. Most people know Alexander the Great as like a tactical genius, military Totoo. genius. Talagang revolutionized the way he did war. Mm-hmm. May bang mga pod- Podcast, historical uh-huh. podcast, uh-huh. sa YouTube. Sobrang ganda. Pati logistics mm-hmm. ng war nila. The weapons they used, yung saresa, which is like a 20-foot uh-huh. spear. Uh-huh. And, uh, di ba, parang nag-levitate yung... Oh, hindi, like hindi a, sumasahit kabilis. sa lupa. Ang bilis nga na expansion ng kingdom niya. Umabot siya ng India, ganyan, yeah. di ba? In a span of 10 years, eh. Ang bata niya na nagsimula yung career niya, eh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Batang bata siya, eh. Yeah. 22 ba? 20s, uh, siguro. Uh, uh-huh. Magaling And siyang strategist, mm-hmm. magaling siyang general, pero meron din siyang flow. Alam mo naman yung mga tao ang masyado ng makapangyarihan minsan akala na just na sila so they, yeah. they, they would deify themselves in fact ito mismo yung ginawa ni Alexander the Great he required people to worship him I just siya just daw siya yung mga comrades niya he would require to bow down Oo. tatay niya kasi ang pangalan si King Philip sabi niya hindi ko tatay si King Philip ako ay anak ni Zeus ganun na yung pantasya niya delusional na siya oo di ba naalala natin si Nebuchadnezzar mm-hmm. ganyan ganun din ganun talaga ang mga makapangyarihan yeah. tao na giging delusional. Mm. Totoo yun. Nalilimutan na nila na tao rin sila. Kahit na sa galing niya, with all of the nice things that you've said about Alexander the Great, namatay pa rin siya ng maaga. Ang bata. He died at 32. Oh, parang, Ang sabi nila, malaria daw. Pero uh, hindi ko sigurado kung yun na nga. May rumors daw that say that he was poisoned. poisoned uh, oh, yun na nga eh. Yeah. Pero daming, yung point doon is that at the height of its power, at the zenith uh, uh, of its uh, uh, power, uh, namatay, namatay siya. siya. Oh, all of his uh, galing did not save rin. him or make oh. him live long. At ano nangyari? Meron siya kasing in 
iniwan na dalawang anak. Okay. Si Alexander the Fourth at saka si, hindi ko lang kung paano basa dito, Heracles. Malang dalawang Hercules, yun. ano? Parang, oh, parang ganun nga, mala Hercules. And both of whom were murdered. Wala nang papalit sa kanya yeah. kasi mm-hmm. yung dalawa niyang anak, pinatay. I guess uh-huh. they were threatened, no? Oh, oh. Yeah. Baka mamaya maging katulad sila ng tatay nila, eh, patay na natin. Kasi Game eh. Ganun naman talaga eh, agawa ng power yan oh. eh. And it's also related to the next part about the four horns. Oh. Kasi nung namatay si Alexander the Great, yung four generals niya, parang... Okay, so kanya yan. Oo, oh, oh, and it used to be a unified okay. kingdom. Mm-hmm. And there was a period of infighting hanggang sa yun na nga ang nangyari. Pero nahati. power grabbing na yun. Oo, oh, oh. so, kanya-kanya na sila. Kanya-kanya na. Mm-hmm. Kaya nahati yung empire. It was partitioned among four Greek military leaders. Mm-hmm. Ito na yung four horns. These are the names of the generals. There's Ptolemy in Egypt, Seleucus in Babylonia, Lysimachus, Lysimachus in Thrace and Asia Minor, Cassander in Macedonia, Greece. It was, I think, Seleucus that went first. Na parang kami kami nila, and then lahat sila para okay kami nila. Oh, ngging apat. Ang tawag sa kanila the Adoki, the successors. Ah, yung pala Uh-oh. ibig sabihin no. Nakita ko yung word na yun eh. Uh-oh. And then out of the four horns, may lumitaw na small horn. Ito na. Diba? So sa na tayo, we are now in part 4, 23 to 27. Mm-hmm. At the latter end of the kingdom, when the transgressors have reached their limit. A fierce looking king, a master of intrigue will rise yan. May lilitaw na. Kasi yung apat na yun, nabaliwala. Oh, kasi uh-huh. may lalabas pang mas makapangyarihan uh-huh. sa kanila. Uh-huh. This refers to the little horn, verse 9, that comes out from one of the four. One of the four. And this one started out small, although insignificant pa siya, bigla naman siyang lumaki din at naging makapangyarihan. And many scholars agree that this horn represents Antiochus Epiphanes. Yeah. Ibig sabihin kasi yung Epiphanes, God manifests. Oh, yung alam ko... Oo, oh, oh, delusional na naman. Oh, Diyos ako. Yung Ganyan. sa coins daw ni Antiochus, yung nakasulat, Theos Epiphanes, God oh, manifests. Oo. Oh, oh. He was the eighth ruler of the solution. Lucid Greek Empire. Naging makapangyarihan ito. So he comes out from Seleucus. Oh, oh, from oh, Seleucid, Seleucus. Oh, oh. And he became very strong. Oh, but pero, not eh, by his own power. I wonder what. Hindi naman siya dapat talaga ang magiging hari. He resorted to bribery. Kaya flattery. kasi yung <laughs> master of intrigue siya eh. Oh, 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 sa, oh. sa interpretation ko, king of bold face. Maka pala mukha. Pero sa inyo, yeah, it's a intrigue, intrigue uh, and master of intrigue. Oh, oh, oh. Parang yung description sa kanya. Fierce looking master of intrigue. Oh, magaling daw siya sa panluloko. Mm. Politics to eh. No, Oh, magaling na oh, magaling daw talaga siya. Mumuliti ka siya kasi mm-hmm. ang rightful heir to the throne was his nephew, the son of his brother, Seleucus IV. Mm-hmm. Yung pamangkin niya dapat, pero hindi yun. Mm-hmm. Ano ginawa niya? Pinuliti ka daw niya. Basta pinuliti ka niya tapos right. nakuha niya yung Uh-oh. throne. Kasi bribery. Grabe, ano? Ang mga politicians kasi talaga nabibili. Nabibili, nabibili talaga, talaga sila. They are for sale. Oo. Nakala natin ngayon lang na nangyayari yan. No. Noon no. pa, ang mga ninuno nila, itong mga beast na to. <laughs> diba? Tapos, this is verse 9. Oh. The little horn grew exceedingly great toward the south, east, and the glorious land. Beautiful Uh-oh. land. Alam na natin small horn. Alamin din natin yung glorious land or beautiful land. Meron siyang ginawa dito eh. Alamin muna natin kung sino kaya yung beautiful land. Ano yung sinasabi ng karamihang experts? Jerusalem? Could possibly be Israel. Yeah. But specifically, the events na nag-transpire na sa describe dito ay nangyari mismo sa Jerusalem. Saktong-sakto yung mga nangyari. Sige, ano ba yung description kasi na nangyari? Babalik tayo sa verse 10. Oh. Naging great siya. Ah, sige, sige. Even to the host of heaven and some of the hosts and some of the stars it threw down to the ground and trampled them. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So may violence that's happening there. Uh-oh. And then it's it became... seemingly challenging Yahweh. Oh, yeah. oh. And, and some, see, some actually say that because host of heaven could mean heavenly beings oh. and but it could also mean the people of God sakto naman dun sa historical account eh, na, right at pwede rin namang heavenly beings referring to spiritual beings kasi yung activities naman natin ginagawa dito it's always related oh, to oh, related din yan meron right. siyang katugmang dimension ang pag natin dito ang nire-rebeldehan natin talaga ay Diyos yeah. oh. so may spiritual na labanan nga meron which we talaga. will also see may parallel siya lagi eh uh, which we will see I think in the latter susunod, chapter oh, uh, pagdating na dyan mga Prince of Greece. Yeah, na. Uh, uh, Prince of Persia. Yeah, yeah, na. Uh, Sabihin ko lang kasi ito yung mga ginawa ni Antiochus, Antiochus. sa history. Okay. When Antiochus Epiphanes attacked Jerusalem, he plundered the temple. Sacrifices at the temple were discontinued. He committed genocide of 80,000 Jewish men, women, and children. Yeah. Ang dami nun. In fact, even infants. Walang puso. Kasi tingin niya, Josh eh. Kaya niyang gawin lahat ng gusto niya. Ito pa nakalagay sa historical records. In December 167, BC, he erected an altar to Zeus. 
right in the temple and he offered swine. Ano Maglagay ka ng altar ng isang uh-huh. pagan god is already uh, an insulto. Uh-huh. Nag-alay pa ng baboy. Which is an unclean, an ano, unclean sa animal. Sa Kaya ang nang ginawa dun sa temple talagang binastos. Mm-hmm. Kaya ngayon paglaban dun sa starry host mukha ang nilalabanan kasi talaga ay ang Diyos mismo. Mm-hmm. Direct ang rebellion ito kay mm-hmm. Yahweh. Ito pang ginawa niya. Yung mga kopya ng Torah sinunog. At lahat ng mga do- Jews would strictly adhere to the law of Moses sinunog din. Kaya Kaya nga sabi dun sa verse, diba, and the truth was thrown to the ground. I Yun ang ibig sabihin nun. Yeah. 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 Kakabasong nga, it's really a systematic eradication mm-hmm. of Israel's faith, worship, and life. Extreme and even like Babylon didn't even do that. Right, because right. Babylon, it was like, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can continue worshiping, except uh-huh. you need to worship our gods as well. Mm-hmm. Pero ito talaga uh-huh. no. I want to kill everybody. Uh-huh. Yan. Uh-huh. Everybody uh-huh. there. Pag kinalaban mo na talaga yung salita ng Dios, talagang direct ang kinalabanan mo mismo ang Dios. Yun sa 25, by his cunning, he shall make deceit prosper under his hand, which we talked about. Na he's a master of deceit, deceit and manipulation, yeah. and then in his own mind, he shall become great. Ayan pinag-usapan natin yung he thought of himself as a god. He shall even rise up against the prince of princes. Uh-oh. And then, ito yung twist. And he shall be broken, but by no human hand. Wow. <laughs> Ganun na naman, you know? Parang, na naman. Si Josephus, a Roman historian from before, uh, <laughs> talks about some accounts na something about could either have been a chariot fall, abdominal cancer, or some other illness. Yung isang nabasa ko say, mental disease. Mm. Oh, but it's something na di nila na expect. Mm. Out of nowhere, deads. Yeah. Uh-oh. Parang si Alexander the Great lang, no? Sa lahat ng talino niya, biglang namatay. Abrupt na siya. yung Tapos ending, ganun, no? Oh, uh, very abrupt. Oo. Oh, oh. Just Diyos and siya. Tapos, mm. wala. Ganun lang wala. din. Wala. <laughs> just ka pala, no? Hetong sa'yo. <laughs> mm. Interesting rin yung term na by no human hand. Kasi ito rin yung term na ginamit sa chapter 2. Rock cut out by no human mm. hand that will destroy mm-hmm. this massive image the representing kingdoms. It's always that na there's an element na it's a God event. Parang, alam niyo yung expression na gumasyado mayabang like me might strike you. Pero ito, sakit ang chan ba ito? Parang ganyan yung nangyayasyo kanya so sobrang yabang nila na strike down. Parang ganyan. By no human hand he shall be broken. And then uh, verse 26, the vision of the evenings and the mornings that has been told is true. But seal up the vision for it refers to many days from now. And then 27, and I, Daniel, was overcome and lay sick for some days. Then I rose and went about the king's business, but I was appalled by the vision and did not understand it. Yeah, probably wouldn't understand it either. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> experience na niya na matalo sila sa Babylon. Tapos ito, mas magaling pa siya dun sa, I mean, ang daming mas magaling, magaling, magaling. So, kung gaano ko pangit yung experience niya, exponentially pangit yung mangyayari. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He didn't have the benefit of what we have, which is uh, hindsight. <laughs> hindsight, di ba? <laughs> Pero alam mo, sa palagay ko, isang masakit dito para kay Daniel. The fact that his people still have mm. not changed. Sa panahong to, malalaman niya na, ah, nakabalik pala kami. Kasi diba, when nakuha niya yung vision na to, they were still in exile. Mm. And then, 70 years later, nakabalik. So, ito na yung panahon na nakabalik na sila. Walang yeah. nagbago in essence. Oo. Mm. And you'd think na after the 70 years, happy ending ka na. Mm. Pero ito, these tuloy, are gonna tuloy. happen Uh-oh. after, and after, after, and after, Uh-oh. after. It oh. seems as though it's never ending. Oh, after the exile, that's not the happy ending already. There's still so many problems that's gonna happen after. Right, right, right. Diba? Kasi they go back time of Persia, the ram. And then there's some more horror things that's gonna happen and right, then right. somebody else is gonna beat them eventually para sa akin yung when it ends sa dulo diba it did not understand it and I wonder about that yung did not understand the vision or did not understand why God would let such great suffering happen to his people diba? as you said mm-hmm. diba Uh-oh. alam mo na oh man dadaanan to ng mga tao after mm-hmm. me grabe sobrang crazy diba Uh-oh. and para sa akin yung takeaway ko dyan is pagka sinuntok ka sa muka parang mas masakit kung nakapikit ka kaysa kayo naabukas yung mata mo mm-hmm. but it's either that shock value, mm-hmm. you're ready to brace for that yeah. impact and everything. Yeah. And so, I think it's a kindness of God to inform His people na there is this great suffering that's gonna be happening. Brace yourselves. Mm-hmm. Brace yeah. yourselves. Yeah. Maganda kayo. Uh, before one, and, but be assured that no matter how horrible things may seem, no matter if things just keeps on getting worse, in the end, you can be assured that we will have victory. Yeah, yeah. Totoo. And Jesus even does this. Mark 13 See that no one leads you astray, Jesus says. Many will come in my name saying, I am he. He will lead many astray. And when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, don't be alarmed. This must take place, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places, Uh famines, but they are the beginning of the birth pains. 
And then he continues on and says so many things. Now you'll be delivered to the council, you'll be beaten. Uh-oh. It's like, dude, may sasapak sa yo. Meron. Saan mo yung mata mo? Uh-oh. Diba? Uh-oh. Handa kayo. Pero ang gusto ko pa rin naman, yung version din ni Matthew. Sinabi rin niya yan, mga signs na yan, the earthquakes, blah, blah, blah. But when you go to chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come. Maraming darating na mga leaders na or even natural mm-hmm. events that may be very destructive or governments that are very destructive also to human life. Alam mo ang hope ko, kapag yung gospel na spread to all nations. Kasi mabait ang Panginoon eh. He gives grace to all of us. Gusto niya rin bigyan ng pagkakataon lahat ng tao makagawa ng desisyon. At kapag itong gospel, narinig na ng lahat. The end will come. The end will come. Uh, ang ganda in, eh. Yeah, but in the meantime, I think it's a message for us to have a certain durable type of faith, faith. life. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yung... You will go through so much. Oh, lahat tayo. Oh, iba-ibang oh. uri ng laban ang aharapin natin. Mm-hmm. In fact, tayong mga nandito sa Pilipinas, mapalad tayo dahil hindi tayo masyadong nabibigatan sa bilang mga Kristiyano. We're not persecuted. There yes. is some form of persecution. Mm-hmm. But not to the point na people are like, like massacring. Uh, Wal- wala pa naman. Oh, oh. Oh. Diba? Bombing churches. Wala pa naman. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ang persecution na mangyayari sa'yo, yung mga Facebook trolls, ganyan. Oh. Oh. Yung mga sa Instagram mo. O baka tinapon ka sa trabaho or something. Oh. Or... Yeah, dahil sa faith mo. Pero hindi pa rin naman talaga eh. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yung tinitingnan ko yung listahan ng top 50 nations na most persecuted kung saan napakahirap maging <laughs> Kristiyano. Wala tayo sa listahan na yun, ha? Yeah. Sa 50. Kung titingnan mo yung listahan ng mga bansang yun, nakakaawa nga naman pala. Karamihan dito are Islamic countries. Mm-hmm. I would assume. Mm-hmm. Oo. Na wala kasing freedom talaga doon ng mm-hmm. iyong religion. Tayo, hindi pa nga tayo nakakaranas nung ganyan, eh. Pero sila, alam mo, itong mensahe ni Daniel dito sa chapter 8, palagay ko, mas nararamdaman nila talaga na totoong-totoo. Uh-huh. Tayo, na spare pa tayo. Ang gaan-gaan ng buhay natin dito sa Pilipinas para sa mga Kristiyano. Compared to so many other countries. Before we recorded, yung apocalyptic literature isn't really the type of literature that I want to study right, or right. read. Alam mo yan. O, repeat ka na. <laughs> <laughs> Three things na naging so what ko after going through the study. Is first, that every part of the Bible is actually important. Even the parts that I would rather not read or take the time to study. Just the fact that it's there, it needs to be studied. And it's right, for a reason. Right, right. Because the Lord wanted us to know about it beforehand. As you were saying that if you were punched when your eyes are closed, then it, oh, then it has more impact. So now that we know about it beforehand, Brace we're, for oh, we're, we're forewarned. <laughs> oh, tapos yun. Tapos yung second ko is that one bad thing after another, yung vision na nakikita niya kasi it just gets Uh-oh. worse and worse and worse oh and worse tapos ang ending niya is interpretation niya na in the end um, a God triumphs so I was thinking kasi when you look at the news you only see bad news and it seems as though the world is coming to an end Uh-oh. yeah kasi Uh-oh. wars and rumors of wars all of these natural calamities and all that your personal struggles and not so good things happening to you pero it gives comfort to know that ang tema ng Daniel is God's sovereignty mm-hmm. that amidst mm-hmm. all of these things no matter how bad things look God Grabe. still tries Oh. Sana ganun ako araw-araw. <laughs> Sana ganun perspective ko. <laughs> it, it, gives you, ano, it gives you courage to pass through the tunnel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, kasi you know yeah. that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. But if there isn't, it's easier to ano, lose hope. Right. Kaya mataas ang suicide yeah. rates yeah. and all that. Because yeah, yeah, there's no yeah. hope. Yeah. Which also reinforces the idea in Scripture about our identity as pilgrims, aliens in this world mm. that are all just passing, passing through. through. Yeah. Here. Ay, sana ganyan yung aking perspective araw-araw. <laughs> no? Parang in the face of great persecution, parang, Lord, sana matatag pa rin ako. Oh, kaya natin ito, Panginoon. Kaya na gano'ng kahirap. Oo, oh, oh, oh. diba? Kaya, anong role natin para sa mga kapatid natin around the globe? Yung sa Matthew. The gospel will be spread across. This gospel of the kingdom will, yeah, the, will be preached gospel, to all the nations. Yeah, will be preached to all the nations. We've been given the privilege, the responsibility to be able to share uh-uh. the gospel. Uh-uh. Tell everybody about uh-uh. it. And at the same time, to our fellow believers, mm. to encourage each other to endure. Even Jesus says, in this life, you will have trouble. Mm-hmm. Mahirap, mahirap. But take heart, for I have overcome the world. And so it's like, to encourage each other and say na, look to eternity. It's worth enduring. Mm-hmm. I think yung dapat maging commitment natin bilang isang simbahan, kung paano natin mapapalaga na pa ang 
mm-hmm. salita ng Diyos. Yeah. No? Right? Actually, I'm more, I'm more for training others. Because yeah. if you are the one doing it, then you're limited to what you can do. That's Whereas, true. if you're yeah. training others, then you multiply your efforts. Right. No? And right. since tayo yung place where hindi tayo persecuted, as you said, yes. uh, then we are a good place to have a training place. Uh, kasi yeah. safe sila dito. Oh, parang ganyan. So, tama. pwede silang pumunta dito. Tapos, we'll share everything that we can share. Right. Train them. And then, send them out. Right. To go back to their right. countries since wala silang freedom. At yeah. tama rin, may mga ganitong podcast because this somehow... Mm, because it reaches, uh-oh. ano eh, there's no longer boundaries in space. Oo. Mm-hmm. Malaya niyong mapakinggan ang yeah. aming mga tinuturo. <laughs> <laughs> Iyan ang maging commitment natin, no? mm. the propagation mm-hmm. of the word, of the gospel. Ito lang naman kasi yung pag-asa natin dito eh. Right. Yeah. Diba? Uh-huh. Yung hope na binibigay ni Cristo. Kasi hindi naman tayo pwede maging, eh, tulad nga yung sinabi na natin sa ating dating episodes, in perspective natin hindi pwedeng earthbound hindi yeah. lang ito ang buhay mm-hmm. meron pang isang pagkakalob sa atin na magandang buhay dahil ito yung buhay na punong-puno ng pag-asa ito yung buhay natin kay Kristo magkakaroon ng happy ending with the Son of Man mm-hmm. so, right. I mean across this whole story yeah. Yeah. even yung persecution nila parang it's not the people of God who are providing the solutions people yeah, of God true. diba I mean that's their whole story oh, hindi, yeah. it's our whole story mm-hmm. right. it's not yeah. salvation is not gonna come from us yes, yes. we are weak. So yeah. the confidence is not on us. Yeah. Tama, tama, the confidence tama. is in God. Mm-hmm. Diba? It's always by no human hand. Yes. Uh-oh. Kaya nga, yung confidence natin is in God. In the mm-hmm. agent right, place, in the right. Son of Man. Totoo yan. I think malino na pinapakita dito yan. Lalo sa Daniel. Dito nga lang sa Daniel, there's sort of a bias against governments. Dahil it seems like the concentration of evil nandito sa lahat ng mga powerful leaders mm-hmm. na ito. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga sa akin, ang loyalty ko will never be to any political leader. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My loyalty will always be to the Son of Man. Because I think it's also um, perhaps a desperate claim for power to find the solution in our hands. Eh? Right. Ah, in this organized institution is the answer. Mm-hmm. Hindi Pero, pwede. Oh, oh, hindi talaga. Eh. Hindi talaga. Eh. Oh, oh, then you look to man. Then it's the, yeah, oh, oh. you look, you look to man for a solution oh. to the world's problems. Yeah. Totoo. Yeah, yeah. Pero nga, again and again, yung theme dito is that by no human hand, the rock was cut. By no human hand, the first king fell. And by no human hand, the, it's the hand of God. It's the hand oh. of God. Yun yung magiging confidence natin. And God is worthy. God is strong enough that we can trust Him. Right. Kaya nga dito sa Book of Daniel, talagang malinaw na isang overarching themes is the sovereignty of God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No? May kita natin, no? Y- yun talaga, halos bawat page siya ang kumikilos. Uh-huh. Yeah. Ang isang nakita ko nga dito, yung one of the big narratives in scripture, balikan natin Genesis 3.15. It's the seed of the woman na kinakalaban ng seed of the serpent. Yung threat dun sa pagdating ng seed of the woman, which we know is the Lord Jesus, patuloy na tinitigilan niya ng kaaway. Kasi saan nga ba manggagaling yung seed of the uh, woman? Sa Israel. Yes. Sa Israel. People. Particularly from the tribe of Judah, Judah. Na palagi na lang may threat sa kanyang pagdating. Titingnan mo nga ulit yung history ng Israel. Simula na pa lang kay Cain at Abel eh. May threat na agad dun sa seed of the woman because the Lord will be coming from the line of Abel. Namatay si Abel. Pinalit si Seth. Nagkaroon pa rin ng threat dyan. Pagtagal, yung flood. Noah. Kasi naging wicked ang mga tao. Pero kailangan i-preserve ni Lord yung line na yun kung saan manggagaling ang seed of the woman. Kay Abraham. Hindi magkaanak pero binigyan pa rin naman ang anak. From Isaac, nagkaroon si Esau and Jacob. Mm-hmm. Eh, anong threat? Papatay ni Esau si Jacob. Eh, mm-hmm. si Jacob ang magmumula ang line ng Messiah. At pagdating naman kay Jacob, may threat na naman. Famine. Buti na lang. Nandun na yeah. si Joseph. Pagdating sa panahon ni Moses, si Pharaoh. Marami pang nangyari. Marami. Marami, marami, marami. There's always that threat to the seed mm-hmm. na hindi dapat dumating ang Mesiyas. Pinipigilan talaga ng kaaway yan. Kaya itong kwentong ito kay Antayo sa Epiphanes, isang maliit na maliit na bahagi lang yan ng ongoing threat sa pagdating ni Jesus. At kahit nandito na si Jesus, nakarating na siya, nagkaroon pa rin ng threat sa kanya. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Crucifixion, pero nag-resurrect. Hindi siya matatalo. Yeah. Kaya ito yung hope natin eh. Kahit ano pang Antiochus Epiphanes, the 10th, the 11th, 12th, what, whoever you are, wala ka. Natalo ka ni. Uh, the Son of Man will, will, will have a kingdom Chapter that is Chapter uh, 7 ng Daniel. Yung Son of Man na yan, siya talagang magiging champion. Right. May pag-asa pa rin talaga tayong lahat. That's right, yeah. So, as we end, as you see in this chapter, maraming maraming tao who will think of themselves as the great greatest pero kahit sino pa yan kung sino sino pa yan managahari-hari yan, yan si Jesus pa rin ang tunay na goat <laughs> the greatest of all time <laughs> amen. amen and amen. amen God bless you and see God you guys you thank you for joining in the next us chapter
Thanks for joining us in the UCM Interface Bible Study Podcast. If you want to know more about our ministry, email us at ucminterface at gmail.com. Join us in Union Church of Manila, Rada Corner Legaspi, Makati City.